Hi Bobcats, it's Ms. Lee, and today's lesson is on percent bar graphs. So in a previous lesson, we talked about relative frequency, how you can find the relative frequency and write it in percent form or decimal or fraction form. Well, you can also graph relative frequencies in percent bar graphs, and they help visualize how the data are distributed. So the table shows the results of a survey taken in Mr. Jinks' music class about the students' favorite musical instruments. So it tells us the different types of in instruments that the students liked, the frequency, or how many students like drums, how many students like guitar, etc., and then the relative frequency. So they took the frequency and they wrote it as a ratio in fraction form to the total number of frequencies. So they said, okay, six people liked drums. So it's going to be six out of the total. If you were to add up all of the frequencies, it would equal 20. So six out of 20. And then we changed that to a percent. We talked about how percent's always out of 100. So we needed to change that 20 into 100. And the scale factor to do that would be to multiply by 5. Then you did the same thing with the 6. And 6 times 5 equals 30. 30 out of 100 can be written as 30%. And the table does that for each type of instrument. And then you can make a percent bar graph based on these relative frequencies. So if you look, you'll see that it's categorical data. Each bar represents a different instrument and that is identified down here on the x-axis. And then on the y-axis you have the relative frequency in percent. So it goes from 0%, 5%, 10%, up to 35%. So it's counting by 5%. So you take the drums and you look up here, the relative frequency was 30%. So the bar for the drums rises all the way up to 30% and then it stops. The guitar was 25%, so its bar will go up to the height of 25%. And the same for the rest of the frequencies, the rest of the instruments. So what's the mode? Well, the mode is the one that has the most frequency, so it's going to be the tallest bar, which happens to be the drums. So the drums is the mode of your data. And if you were to outline your bar graph, you would see that it is skewed to the right. Most of the data is going to be on the left side. Well, this is just one type of percent bar graph. Another type of percent bar graph that you maybe will see just as much, if not more, than the one we just saw, is where all of the categories are on one bar. So we have a bar, this whole bar represents 100%. And this is a problem back to our relative frequency video, talking about the students and the universities that they would like to go to. And we filled out this table with the frequency and the relative frequency and percent. Well, we're going to take these categories and we're going to show their percents, but in one bar. This is where you have to have a key. It has to be a color-coded key, or it can be some kind of design or pattern type of key. Um, if you look, the key's already been set for us. And the University of Texas is this bright, bright blue. University of Texas is 20%. That means I'm going to start at zero and I'm going to color in up to 20% this bright blue color, just like this. Okay, so the bright blue refers to the University of Texas because it stops, it goes from zero to 20%. That's the relative frequency, 20%. Now Texas A&M is at 30%. So we're not gonna start at zero. We have to start where the blue leaves off. Okay, we're starting in the next category. And because it's 30%, that doesn't mean we go up to 30%. That means we go 30% from the 20. So you could add them together. 20 plus 30 is going to equal 50. So you know you need to move up and stop where it says 50%. Or you can count. Say, so, okay, I'm going to start here. So if I go up, this is going to be 10%. This will be 20%. And this is going to make the 30% which is where we want to stop. So we have the 20%, let me try to write it in a color you can see. So this is the 20% for the University of Texas. This is the 30% for the Texas A&M. 
and then Baylor is 20%. So we need to add 20% from the 50. So here's 10%, here's 20%. So it's going to go up to 70. So this is the 20% for Baylor. Texas Tech is only 15%. So you got to be careful because you go up 10% and you need another five, which is going to be halfway between the 80 and the 90 percent. So Texas Tech will go up to 85 percent, and this represents 15 percent. Rice is only five percent, so from the 85 you move up five percent to 90, and then Sam Houston State University is 10 percent, so they take the remaining 10 percent that's in your bar. Be very careful if I ask you, okay, what percent of students chose to go to Texas Tech? If you tell me 85%, that would be a wrong answer. For it to be 85%, from 0 to 85 would have to be colored yellow. Instead, it's only colored yellow on this part, going from 70 to 85, and that would be 15%. Sometimes you'll see the percent bar graphs horizontally. Okay, we have a key. The blue represents agriculture, the green represents services, and the red is industry. This is the labor force by occupation in India 2009. You can see that the numerical axis down here represents the percent, and our percents are going by 10%. So let's answer some questions. Agriculture represents what percent of India's labor force in 2009? Well, the agriculture is the bright blue, so if you come over here, it goes from zero to halfway between 50 and 60, which would be 55%. So 55% would be your answer for this one. Our second question, what percentage of India's labor force does not include services? Okay, well let's figure out what percent includes services. Well the services is the green. Please don't say that it's 85% because yes, it stops at 85%, but it doesn't begin at zero. The green begins at 55%. So 55 to 65 is 10. 65 to 75 is another 10, and 75 to 85 is a third 10, so that's 30 percent. That's how much includes services. We want to know how much does not. So out of the whole 100 percent, 30 percent is services, and that means that 70 percent is not. What fraction of the labor force represents industry? Okay, so now we're writing a fraction. Well, what do we know about industry? Industry is the red. Industry goes from 85% to 100%. So that's 15%. And percent, we know, is out of 100. So there's your fraction. And remember, you always have to simplify. So we can divide both by 5, and it's going to give us 3 20ths. So that is the fraction that represents industry. Okay, our next example is about favorite foods. You can see the key is over here. We've got french fries, cheeseburgers, pizza, and so on. But if you look at our bar, look down here. This is not representing the percent, is it? It's representing the number of votes. So apparently, a survey was done. 200 people voted because it goes up to 200, so that's your total and this tells you the number of votes per category, per favorite food. So our first question is, what percentage of the votes were for pizza? Looking at our key, the pizza is the purple. So here's our pizza. It goes from 140 to 180. Now that's not percent, that's votes. And it's not 140 votes because the purple doesn't start at zero. From 140 to 180 represents 40 votes. Well, it's not 40% because for it to be a percent, it would have to be out of 100, and this is 40 out of 200. But we can change it to 100, can't we? 
we can easily go from 200 to 100 by dividing by 2. Do the same thing to the 40. 40 divided by 2 is 20. Now that we have a number out of 100, that number is the percent. So the answer would be 20%. which food item had the most votes? Okay, if you look at the graph, it's the one that's gonna be, have the longest or the more spread, the most spread. And that color is the blue, which look at the key is the french fries. So I'm gonna put FF for french fries. French fries had the most votes. What percentage did it get? Okay, so we need to find the percent, just like we did for pizza. Looking up here, the blue goes from zero to 85. So that does represent 85%. And we know that percent is out of 100. Oh, I'm sorry. This doesn't represent percent, does it? It represents votes. Votes, votes, votes. Number of votes, not the percent. So it's 85 out of 200. But a percent is out of 100. So we can divide by 2 to get our 100. Divide 85 by 2. and you get 42.5 out of 100. So the percentage would be 42.5%. And our last question, tacos and pizza combined represent what percentage of the votes? All right, let's take a look. Tacos, tacos are red. So we're going from 120 to 140, so that's 20. And pizza, we already found was 40. So add them together, 20 plus 40 is 60. We're looking for the percentage. So it's not 60 out of 100, it's 60 out of 200. We need to make it out of 100. So we can divide 200 by two, divide 60 by two, and you get 30 out of 100. Anything out of 100 can be written as a percent. So it's 30%. Okay, the percent bar graph below represents students' favorite music in Mr. Lanham's first period. Now this one is a little bit different. This is like our bar graph. You have a bar that represents each genre of music, but you can see there's also two different colors in each bar. And this key up here tells us that the girls rep is purple and the boys are green. So he not just, he not only wanted to know what genre they liked better, but he wanted to know which one the girls like better versus which ones the boys like better. So we're looking for which statement is true. More girls voted for pop music than boys. Okay, come down here, find the pop music, it's right here. More girls, are there more girls? Well, the purple is girls, and you can definitely see that there's more purple than green. So this one is true. And because sometimes they have more than one answer, let's go on and check the rest of them. More boys voted for country than girls. So here's their country. Is there more green or is there more purple? It actually looks about pretty close. So if you go draw your line over, it's 50%. So it's a 50-50. So this one would be a false statement. If they had said that the same amount of boys voted for country as did girls, then it would have been true. Uh, C, more girls voted for rock than boys. So here's our rock. If there are going to be more girls, that means there's going to be more purple. And there's not. There's more green. So this one's false. And D, the number of girls and boys that voted for rock is the same. Well, we kind of talked about over here for country, for them to be the same, they would both be 50%. And you can tell that's not true on this one. There's more green. So this is false. So the only true answer was A. And now you're ready for your independent practice.